experience. So I guess we can move uh, right to the, but Manfred, where, what's, what are your next steps with your work? <laughs> I wouldn't know that. <laughs> no, I have, I have absolutely no idea what I do tomorrow. <laughs> and, uh, I, I develop my work and one thing leads to another, but I, I don't have any special, I don't know what to say, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm <laughs> So your process is kind of evolutionary. Well, I, I build one thing on top of another and, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Then it gets put aside, and then 70 years later, I take it out again. It continues. But um, sometimes one is not ready to do something at this moment because certain things you don't see or don't understand or, or don't feel, and you have to wait. It's, uh, I don't know, and then suddenly uh, a word somewhere, and suddenly it comes up, that's it, and you can continue. But uh, I don't have any plans, you know, prefix on doing this. No. But I, I like the idea because I, I was thinking about music and sculpture since a long time, and I had envisioned years ago even that <clears throat> that you throw out like powder in the air, and while it falls, you know, you shoot with laser or sound, whatever, and when it's coming down, the sculpture's finished. And that's how that, creates itself at this moment when it falls. Mm -hmm. Something like this I had envisioned, but I'm not working on that. It is a new aesthetic going to evolve? I mean, you know, what what is going to be the contemporary art of the future? I'm, I'm not saying. <laughs> you know that. But the thing well, is... But well, I, I think aesthetics is always the answer to, que to a question. Mm -hmm. And the question uh, comes mostly from technology. That means our mental cap capacity of inventing something always needs the aesthetic part, like you said. You can't understand a technical or anything without having the, let's say, the human touch to it, because otherwise you, you don't see it. You know? The artist is so important to, to the development of the world that without the art you can't understand the thing. And the art is so important also that if you deny art as a the importance, people will become like starved or starved to death or something. Because you need it's like food for the brain that you understand the world through through the artistic view of things which sometimes have nothing to do with the technology, but it brings it together in a global understanding. And, and art is also so important that, I don't know if this is the right moment, but it just came to my mind, I, there was a, a painter in Auschwitz, and he, he painted or drew every day and that's how he could stay alive. That's how important art is. And without art, we just can't lose that thing. Ideas and how you apply it. Like if you look at Manfred's work, you know, where it began as paintings and then plotter drawings and now they're animations, you know, you know, there will be some future step there, you know. And because of now, I think an artist all of us uh, I mean, you should not run after the latest technology. I, mean, I have to be, I have to have that. An artist develops a concept of thinking, and at certain points, he needs something to do that. And then he looks, where can I find the technology? Where can I find this? Or build it myself? You know? So that's how the artist world tools. works. Yeah. Whereas the technology world, that's a different world. They're killing each other, finding the latest trick or whatever. <laughs> so that's, I'm not part of that, you know? That's yeah. the different, it's the yeah. other side of the coin. I, I don't necessarily want to be new, I want to be irresistible. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I also wanted to say that Marshall McLuhan was, for me, one of the lead figures who really saw that machines are extensions of us. Mm -hmm. and that most people are always afraid of machines. 
because human being by nature likes to laugh at the machine and say, ah, I told you it can't do it. You know? So once you accept the idea that a machine is only your own extension, it becomes a very uh, different world for everybody. And that additional, like you said, disappears is only normal because when something is new, you say a bottle, but then it's only the water you're interested in, not the bottle. You know? So it, it integrates it in, in your car, half the thing is run by a computer. Nobody says, uh, I have a computer out in the car. But everything becomes one thing, and there's no problem anymore about how it came there. You know? <coughs>